Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Phil Chalier with Why Do We Say That? This is more of a why do we do that phrase today. Um, I got a, it, it's all about barbershop pole. Um, barbershop pole in, uh, around here, we hit that red and white striped little pole. Well, anyway, I got a haircut. Uh, and I was, I went in and on the window, they have this picture of a barbershop pole, which is a red and white striped pole um, as an advertisement. And I got to thinking, why do they have that? <clears throat> Pardon me. Well, of course, for the word barber, barba, I believe comes from Latin meaning beard. And I suppose that the barba was the person that would trim the beards. Um, barba actually goes way back to the Greeks, who would call the barbarians the barba because he, they thought their their language sounded like people going ba 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 ba. So they called them barbarian. But anyway, the Latin comes from barba. The barber was the person who would trim the beards, like me. So, and so they, um, in the Middle Ages and earlier, back in the, uh, whatever, you want to call it, sixth, seventh century, if you remember, the, um, the, the Huber's system, I talked about this, I don't know, golly, a month ago, two months ago, was that the prevailing belief was that people got sick because the, your humors, your four humors inside of you, your uh, phlegm and your black bile, white, yellow bile, and blood were not in balance, and so you had to balance them and they would be bled. Well, so if a person, a barber, not only trimmed the beards and the hair and whatever, but they also had a second trade because they had the sharpest knives in the little town. Yes, they had to have sharp knives. So they were the pe person who could bleed best. I suppose if a doctor or a physician wasn't available. So this is why the barber would advertise the fact they would take one of their bloody uh, cloths that they would obviously, you bleed, you bleed. You gotta wrap cloth around it to stop the bleeding. They would hang that outside around a pole and it would advertise to everybody to say, oh, there's the barber. I, I need to be bled. I don't, I'm feeling kind of down today. <clears throat> I'm under the weather. Remember that one? You don't? <sighs> I'm shocked. Oh, so they, the barbershop pole became throughout, I believe, I would assume, Europe, and it was brought to America as a symbol of the barber. And they still use it today that this person had it on there. I think it was one of these chains, I don't know, Fantastic Sam's or something, they they put this picture on their on their window to say, we're barbers, but they don't do any more bleeding. Don't ask. I can tell you, they don't do it. No, they, they look at you kind of funny. So, this is where we have the barbershop pole coming from and the word barber. Thank you very much. I'm going to go into love next time. I was thinking about um, courtship and marriage and love and honeymoon, all of those words have great histories because people have been uh, uh, getting married, getting married and having babies for a long time. I mean, I don't know what, more, two, three hundred centuries maybe. Who knows? I'm the product of one. So we'll talk about all that. Bye-bye. See y'all uh, next time. But for now, it's barbershop pole. The next time you see a barbershop and they have that symbol, you'll say, I wonder if that's a bloody rag wrapped around it. It's not. Trust me.